a little partner in crime wants to help intro this video. This is Daisy, and she's going to be 13 years old this year. So let's get into it. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. And that was my special doggy guest, Daisy. She's a miniature pincher and barks a lot. <laughs> so if you have owned a pincher, you know, and just be aware, they are very barky but, at times. Uh, this is a little chit chat, what's been going on, what I've bought from Timu, my viral hand sanitizer I picked up, and a couple of clothes, and just a little of this and that. <laughs> so yes, first thing is I have moved into my Fuchi, <laughs> my fake Gucci. Yes, I have one rep bag, and I wanted to see if I liked it, and I still like it. <laughs> So this is obviously not real, but I do like it and it's camera style, the crossbody strap. But what's inside is my viral TikTok dupe of Touchland, which is the Dollar Tree B Pure. This was the last one in the store, and it happened to be up at the cashier's table. So she said, yeah, just grab it. And so I have the watermelon scented Touchland dupe, and it's called Be Pure Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. And it does smell good, and it just sprays like that, and it's, you know, thinner, and it really smells good. It smells like watermelon, so that is what... I am using now. Still loving my fan. I have been using my Dunian Burke small zip around wallet. This is a good wallet. If you're looking for this size that can hold cash, coin, and cards, this one is a good one. And every time I open my purse, I can smell the leather on this Florentine. <laughs> yeah, just because it's pink does not mean it doesn't smell very good like awesome leather awesome Florentine leather so I wanted to share that and so I've been in that and after I move out of that one I am going to put myself in the pale blue pebbled leather satchel it was formerly small but now it's just the satchel and I have changed <laughs> I've just added my duck charm and took off the additional strap and connected it through there I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that I also have been seeing people use these with a like a nylon strap and you can make those shorter for shoulder or crossbody so I'm thinking about getting an additional strap um, I usually double up the two straps that come with the satchel but I don't know how I'm gonna carry it but I'm gonna move into this because it's been a really long time and it's a beautiful pale blue color it it's coming off lighter in the camera but I've had this for five years now and it is beautiful the whip stitching I wore it a lot when I got it so I'm going into this one soon. I also wanted to sh share my thrifted find. If you didn't catch it, um, I do resell handbags, but I haven't really found anything too much lately. And I'm definitely not buying any bags for June. So uh, I did find this beautiful Kirkland's picture and it was only $28 because I had a coupon. <laughs> and uh, it is a Alan Shaw hand-painted 
painting and it has texture and gloss and it's a nice canvas and it's huge and how I figured out how much it's worth is by the Google app that I mentioned in my thrifting tips. Uh, I will link that video down below in case you missed it. But I took a picture of the painting and then in the Google app and then it pulls up what it was and it originally was $130. And we got it for 28 and there was absolutely no tears, no nothing on it, no, it looked new. It even had the hang tag of the painter, which was Alan Shaw. So, very cool item to thrift. I just did, finished my live I did with Dee Dee and it was a lot of fun. I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous a couple hours before because I... I don't know how good I am being in an interview situation, <laughs> so I don't want to flub up and mess up my live and get, I thought I was going to get stage fright. <laughs> uh, she really was very easy to talk to, so if she asks you to do a live, it she talks a lot, so if you don't talk as much, she will... <laughs> be sure and pick up the slack so that makes an introvert more person feel comfortable oh and yeah my uh, husband <laughs> said I needed to put this on my video the the albatross follows on my Iron Maiden shirt he uh, is slowly getting me more and more into Iron Maiden <laughs> I don't know about a lot of heavy metal but I like kind of the Iron Maiden that he let me listen to so or introduced me to I should say this is his but I am uh, representing right now I wanted to show you a couple of Timu items I bought some toothbrush little covers I'll pop up a picture over here of what they are uh, our replaceable sonic brushes um, didn't have a lid or a cap over the toothbrush part and I think there's germs everywhere from the toilet from the sink from washing your hands anything so I got those toothbrush covers that came in a four pack and then I also got <laughs> my daughter loves skorts which a skirt is a short and a skirt mixed together in case you didn't know that <laughs> and I looked at reviews on this one so it's just a black skirt and then underneath, oops, that's the back. <laughs> underneath you have the shorts. I don't know, I'm not showing this very good for here. So here's the skirt. It's just a black skirt. And underneath you have a pair of shorts. Very comfortable, lightweight very soft material I probably paid like eight dollars for it on Timu I'll link it down below for you if you like the look of the skirt then you'll like this and then I was thinking of uh, 4th of July and I thought that I needed some of these and so yeah very uh, stars very denim and stars with the frayed ends here and it's got a little stretch to it which I like there's the back of it so yeah I've got some some denim shorts for 4th of July celebrations my daughter got some black and white slides that she really likes so I'll pop up those picture here and yeah just a couple of things i ordered i wanted to share with you in case you wanted to know or wanted a review maybe because i've worn both of these and i like both of them and they're both true to size so there you go. i wanted to share one funny thing before i go and let me know if you knew this or didn't know this little fun fact here so me and the husband were watching a show and it was a, I can't remember the show, but the actor in it was playing like a, a writer. And he was reviewing the rough draft of a play, I believe. 
and he said he was so sick of millennials putting two spaces after a period and I'm like don't you mean it is two spaces right I look over at my husband he's like uh no it's one space after a period I'm like you mean I've been doing it wrong this whole time <laughs> <laughs> And so, for reference, I learned how to type on a typewriter. And so, when you learned, you put a period and two spaces and then your word. Well, apparently, that has changed. <laughs> and I didn't know about it. Let me know if you did <laughs> or didn't. <laughs> and you're only supposed to put one space after a period when you're typing or texting or any of that. So... If you see me reply to your comments with double space after a period, old habits are hard to break. <laughs> so, I just wanted to give you that little funny uh, incident the other day that happened. Because I had no idea that it was one space and not two spaces. Even my 10 year old daughter knew. I'm like, how am I just now knowing this? <laughs> oh well, anyways. That's all I have to share. Again, I'm going to move into my big satchel. So, and yes, it's a little bit weighty, but it's time to pack it up. I'm probably not going to pack very much in it and enjoy my satchels on this no buy June. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or tell me what you think of my, my, uh, skirt. <laughs> Or did you know about the, the one space after the period? <laughs> Let me know. I can't be alone on this. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, be sure and subscribe. It's free. I would love you to watch my videos. I hope that I entertain you at least a little bit. And s share my channel to your friends if they like handbags. Because that's what my content is. Handbags and accessories with the little hauls thrown in here and there. And uh, hit the bell so you won't miss my future videos. And I appreciate all my new subscribers for coming aboard. And I appreciate all of you. And when you tell me that it was a great video or you really liked it, that means so much to me. It means the world to me that I'm actually doing something that you like or that maybe you didn't know about. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Content creators love those kind of compliments. If it's a good topic, if I helped you, if you say this was a great video, then I'm doing something right. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for that. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.